Hi everybody, welcome back to the CY Show. Today's episode is called Calling in the Experts. Stay tuned. My name is Cesar Yanez and you're watching the CY Show. Alright, so when purchasing a home, one of the most important steps is the home inspection. While this will tell you a lot about the house, there are some items that a home inspector simply cannot evaluate. For example, evaluating pools or septic systems. So a home inspector is not certified to evaluate everything in a home. A pool expert or an expert on septic systems may need to conduct a more thorough inspection in those areas of the house. Another example is hidden flaws. So inspectors check for what they can only physically see without having to move anything. That means that they might not be able to tell you if there's a crack on the foundation behind the wood paneling or if there's an electrical plug that's not working behind the couch. Make sure you're aware of that they're not physically allowed to move any sort of furniture or items to test something. So be aware of that. The next example is termites, rats, or mold. So most inspectors aren't licensed to determine if any of these infestations exist. Instead, they will note evidence such as sagging floors, which is an indication of termites, shredded insulation, which is an indication of rats, or black discoloration on the walls, which is a sign of fungal growth. Now, these notes will be very helpful for you when determining what repairs are needed on the house. And the last example I think you should take a note of is unnecessary repairs. So there's a lot of inspectors out there that will do a very thorough job and will make sure they point out every little single flaw that there is with the house. They'll point out window scratches or little chips in the paint, but just don't get so overwhelmed with the length of your report if it's several pages long. Just make sure you sit with your realtor. He or she will let you know if it's normal wear and tear or if you actually need to request some repairs for that. So make sure you take a note of that. And that's all I got for today. I hope these tips are helpful. I hope you have a good insight of what a home inspection is like and some things you should look out for like calling experts or some things you should ignore like small little flaws in the houses. Stay tuned for next week's episode and I hope you liked it. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, etc. And I'll see you next time. Cease out.